Okay. Dr. Tokola had asked me to call you oh. about uh, dialysis oh. education. Do you remember we talked on the phone for a while? Yeah, I, I, I do remember that, yes. He had sent me another referral and just want me to touch base with you and see if you wanted to learn anything addition. He said you're getting pretty close to needing dialysis and he wasn't sure um, if you had kind of what your position was on what you wanted to do. And I said, well, let me reach out to him and just see. Okay. Yeah, you know, I already explained to you, you know, uh, you know my thoughts and, and where, where I'm at. And, and so, okay. and, and, and I told him that too, you know, and, know. and so, uh, you know, I'm, I mean, that, 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 that's where it is. I'm just, you know, okay. um, you know, that's what I'm gonna do. And so, uh, okay. do you get, do you get a chance to go, uh, look at them videos or, or, uh, I didn't look at the videos, but I read the story online. Oh, you yeah. did? Okay. I did. Yeah. Um, but, uh, here's my suggestion to you. When you get sick, go to the hospital so that they can use medication to help you with your pain so that you're not at home struggling alone. Okay. It is not, it, it is not a, and, and I get where you sit with it. I heard you, and I think I'm just trying to give you my best advice and you do with it what you feel is best. But um, when the kidneys fail, it is... A tremendous passing for a patient and I would never want someone to pass at home alone suffering but at the hospital they can give you basically morphine so that the body can take its natural course but you're not suffering okay so just a suggestion so when you get sick you'll know it go to the hospital so go to the ER okay all right if you, sounds if you do ever change your mind we are here no matter what, um, and uh, anything you need, okay? Okay. And, and let me, let me, uh, I, I probably got you, let me get your number and name. Your name is Kim. Sure. Kim, yes. right? Yep. Powers is my last name. Powers, okay. Okay, and uh, what, what do you call yourself, a consultant? I'm a, I say educator. My official title is kidney care advocate, but I just say patient edu educator. Yeah. That's a lot easier. <laughs> okay. okay, I got you. Yeah. Okay, and what's your number is 806? 724. 724. 5193. 5193. Okay. All right, well, then, you know, that's a, uh, a lot of this is having to do with this crimes and what's going on here, you know, and and uh, I, I don't know if I told you the other day, but I had hired a private investigator a year ago. Yeah, you did. And uh, I'm supposed to have evidence delivered to me today, which they haven't showed up. And, and so uh, hopefully evidence that, you know, breaks this thing open. And because if anybody that follows my story, which I, I don't know if you are or not, but I mean, uh, even just recently, I, I've got a motion detector light in my attic and I can see it from down in my bedroom. And that thing goes off every day. I mean, people are in my house every single day, you know, and, and I have this proof of it, you know, and that's what was going on when I was shot. You know, yeah. I had burglar yeah. arms going off my attic, and then I've got all these homeowners all across the nation documenting and reporting people in the attic. It's nationwide racketeering, organized crime, and and they're the ones I think that have poisoned me, and that's why I have kidney problems in the first place. You know, and then we get into the side of it where the ex-wife had told me the secret is a group of doctors killing people for profit. You know, so I I, I have a distrust for doctors. Yeah, I'm sure they want me I to. Get it. I'm sure they want. Me to the die. Day, I, get, I get it and I respect kind of mm. your position yeah all I want you to know is at the end of the day there will come a time when you feel sick and what I mean is very lethargic appetite a funny metal taste in your mouth bloating up mm. um, very like maybe nauseous diarrhea 
vomiting, any of that can happen. But definitely the fatigue is the huge one. The swelling is the other huge one. Mm -hmm. Short of breath. Because basically your body, when the kidneys aren't doing their job, the body fills up with the waste and fluid. You're being poisoned. And that's the part. If you do become like septic and then you also kind of drown in a way Mm -hmm. because it kind of infiltrates the lungs and and that's the part that makes a person suffer um, if they don't have medical support when the kidneys fail and when that filling up happens. For some people, the levels in the blood, the chemical levels can cause a heart attack and a person can go quickly. For some, it can be a little bit more drawn out. I mean, there's no telling. Um, but I just, in an effort to try to throw this in the back of your brain, Mm -hmm. if you don't feel good and you start feeling these things, Mm -hmm. go, go to the ER, don't stay at home and suffer. You're not going to fix it. And just at least don't suffer. We have no way of getting you help at home right now because you don't have health insurance, but they will help you in the hospital and you're not going to have any problems there. Mm -hmm. So I just want you to kind of at least hear that because I would never want a human being to suffer um, because you said you're kind of getting close. So we worry about you. And I get it. Your perspective is different. I just want you to know we worry about you. Oh, well, and and I appreciate it. And, and, you know, you know, even if we even if I didn't have kidney problems, I was going to die anyway. You know, I mean, that's that's what you're going to you're going to die. We're all going to die. You know, and and, and some of us going to die more painful than others. And hopefully, it. you know, like I said, you know, it, I know it throws off your potassium levels and all that, and then you can get, have a heart attack, and uh, real possible, or whatever. But but okay. right now, that's where we're at, you know. Yep. And so, yep. uh, I just keep my faith in God. Hopefully, you know this this crime ring's arrested. These doctors are put in prison for these serial killing doctors. You know, these people breaking their homes across the nation. You know, these police that are helping murder people inside their homes. You know, that we can get this stop. At least, at least my life was worth living for sure. You know. But okay. but I can't, I can't I don't see myself fighting that especially if I'm tied to a machine you know dependent on a machine to stay alive and so uh, I, and put all my faith and confidence in doctors I don't trust you know that, I understand so. I understand all right okay. thank you Kim I will let him know and then if anything any questions ever come up you know you can reach out to me you have my email as well it's at Kimberly dot Powers. Okay, very good. Thank you, Kimberly. I appreciate it. Take care. Okay, bye-bye.